Hello, hope you are fine. Uh, once again, I would like to talk about one of my research. And uh, uh, in this uh, video, I want to introduce uh, an optimization algorithm for solving uh, combinatorial optimization and complex uh, models. Uh, you know, when solving uh, large scale and complex models, which have many constraints, uh, it is still difficult uh, to reformulate and to solve uh, the, optimi the optimal solution when we have a very large data. Therefore, uh, the use of uh, an approximate solution, such as uh, metaheuristic algorithms, are well known and uh, highly recommended. Uh, so let me uh, share my screen and uh, uh, in this section i would like to talk about uh, my uh, new uh, algorithm my new metaheuristic name as red deer algorithm a new nature inspired metaheuristic it is uh, published in a soft computing journal and uh, it is available online and uh, uh, the, uh, uh, for uh, in, we want to uh, discuss about uh, the kind of the, uh, the paper, uh, the presentation, and something other else. Uh, first of all, I think uh, uh, let me uh, talk about the why uh, we need uh, a metaheuristic algorithm. Uh, and uh, the, definite, the differences between a uh, local solution and a global solution. Uh, for example, in a case of minimization optimization problem, uh, the opti uh, these points, as you can see, uh, these points are local solutions and uh, these points is a global solution. Uh, in metaheuristic search, uh, most of the metaheuristic algorithms have uh, two phases, uh, identification and diversification, uh, or exploitation and exploration. Uh, in these phases, we drop, we drop from uh, a local solution to find a global solution. It means uh, we need to uh, exploit, exploit a new solution. Exploit means uh, to find a better solution. It's a local search to find exactly a better solution and explore new areas. For example, uh, we need to drop from this area to another area if we want to find a better solution. Therefore, we first need to explore a new a potential area and then exploit this area uh, to find a, a, a good, better solution. Uh, in another example, uh, to have a better uh, idea about the intensification and diversification phases, uh, let me uh, provide another example. Uh, if, if, um, assume that uh, you have a room, and uh, in this room you want to find uh, your key. You lost your key, and this is your room, and uh, you may uh, uh, you lost your key, and you want to find find it for example uh, i lost my keys here okay um, if uh, if you want to want to uh, find your key you need to uh, search uh, in some potential areas first for example i uh, look at my beds and try to search around the area of my bed i look at my table and try to search uh, around the table. I uh, look at my sofa and then 
try to search around the sofa and finally i can uh, see that my keys is uh, the under the sofa it means that uh, in our life well to find uh, something we always do the intensification and diversification phases and in all materialistic algorithms like red deer algorithm or genetic algorithm and uh, many other algorithms we need uh, or in general in population based algorithms we always have uh, intensification and diversification phases and uh, it's very common so uh, after this introduction and i hope this example uh, makes you uh, happy to uh, talk about the uh, search phases in the uh, metastatic algorithms and now I would like to talk about uh, uh, this new algorithm, Red Deer algorithm. Uh, Red Deer algorithm uh, is uh, uh, inspired by uh, behaviors of uh, Red Deers. Uh, red Deers, um, uh, we, uh, which are uh, lived uh, in uh, British Isles and uh, in, or in Australia, New Zealand, and the, uh, this type of red deers, uh, I originally from uh, um, British Isles, Scotland, and it is uh, generally classified as a uh, Scotox uh, red deers. We uh, focus on uh, three main behaviors of. Uh, red deers uh, such as roaring fighting and mating uh, in a breeding season roar uh, may, uh, males um, may red deers roar loudly and repeatedly uh, they try to fight with other males to uh, be a commander and then we uh then these uh males would be a commander they want to increase their territory and increase their uh hinds in her in her harem they create a harem and they want to uh have more hinds uh hinds is a female red deer is more hinds in their uh, harems uh Therefore, uh, this algorithm is a uh, population based and uh, it's many other population based algorithms are existed, such as genetic algorithm and cloning optimization and uh, other examples. Uh, such as uh, many other metastics, it is uh, started with an initial solution, initial set of solutions a population of solution and then this solution would be uh, divided into males and females um, i uh, also can uh, um, show you the main paper i think also the paper is very uh give example uh, this is the red deer and this is the main flow chart of this algorithm uh, i think uh, uh, generally uh, we first initialize the red deers and then uh, uh, the male red deers, which are the best solution, which are better than the hinds, are roaring. Then uh, we divide a gamma percent of the best male red deers as male commanders. And after we have a fighting between uh, the male commanders and the stacks. The stacks are uh, young uh, deers which are very uh, excited and uh, they try to be a commander and uh, attract hinds. After that, we uh, form the harems and the mating uh, 
uh, would be done. Uh, the uh, commander would be made with uh, an affable person of Heinz in, her, in his harem and another uh, Heinz from uh, out of his harem because they want to uh, improve, they want to extend the, his territory. Uh, also, Stags also uh, will try to uh, mate with uh, random hind or what would, would be the nearest hind uh, near this uh, stack. And the next uh, generation of solution would be selected uh, and it uh, forms an evolutionary algorithm. It means that always bird solution uh, will have more chance than bad solutions to be selected for the next generation. And uh, it, it goes to saying that the, uh, by doing the mating process, uh, we will uh, generate new solutions uh, as a, an offspring of uh, uh, this uh, mating process. Uh, uh, now I think I come back. Yeah. Mm, so. I uh, discuss about the phase, the steps of uh, this algorithm. And always the termination uh, would be the number of uh, iterations or a time interval to have a, to select the term to, 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 to see that if the algorithm uh, would be satisfied from the determination or not. Uh, so we always uh, generate random solutions as uh, in the first step in the initial processes. And then the main loop uh, of our algorithm is started from step two, when uh, the males roaring. So, uh, to select the best red deers as uh, an male and the rest of the red deers as n hind. Uh, next step is a roll ring made. The roaring is a local search. It means that we have uh, we ha we give this, this chance to the male red deers to have a local search around him, uh, their solution. It uh, does uh, randomly using uh, uh, such a formulation. Uh, it, it, shows, it should be noted that uh, UB and LB is the uh, uh, upper bound and lower bound of the feasible area. You know, but it should be noted uh, uh, metastatic algorithms such as red deer algorithms uses a continuous search space. Therefore, we uh, permit every male deer to change the, his positions using this formulation. Uh, then we uh, divide the population into three main classifications, uh, hinds, stags, and commanders. Commanders are the best solutions. We have a limited number of commanders using an alpha per, and, and gamma persons. And a stags is uh, considered as the rest of males. And the hinds are uh, uh, the worst solutions uh, in this uh, area. The fighting process is uh, like uh, crossover, but it is very intelligent because we only select the best solutions. Assume that an stack and a commander would be fighting. And therefore, uh, after this fighting, we have a winner or a loser. So uh, we select, we have four candidates for candidate solutions. And among these solutions, uh, we select the best one as a commander 
uh, as a new commander. So uh, the two solutions are generated using these uh, formulations. I can see the and it should be noted B1 and B2 are random numbers between zero and one. Uh, and UB and LB, as uh, I told you before, is the upper bound and lower bound of uh, our feasible space. So in this competition, using fighting a step, uh, we have a winner and a loser, and the commander would be the winner. And the best solution among four uh, exist, existing uh, existed uh, solutions. Then, uh, for each commander, we want to uh, assign uh, horns to them to create herons. Uh, oh, for, uh, for example, but it is uh, done based on the uh, the fitness value or the up value of the objective function for the commander. It means that if the commander uh, has a better value in the objective, that if it is a better solution, it would be have more uh, chance to get uh, more hinds. Uh, it is a, uh, it would be done uh, using a percentage and uh, by uh, road wheel selection. I think uh, all uh, we may have uh, this information that about road wheel selection that is selected uh, Heinz and randomly to the commanders and assign Heinz to the commanders uh, with regards to the, their chan, the chance of commander and uh, the random process. Therefore, uh, after this step, uh, and, uh, we want to have the mating process. Uh, in the mating process, the commander would uh, mate with uh, a percentage of hinds in uh, his harem, for example, an alpha percent. It means that we selected an alpha number of hinds randomly, and then uh, the mating would be done. Uh, if I think uh, for formulation of uh, this, uh, I did show you in the paper. Uh, the formulation for mating is uh, in, uh, given in the equation uh, 12. Uh, also, uh, the mating process is also done for beta persons in another harem. It means we select another harem randomly and the commander uh, occupies or attack uh, to this harem and try to mate with uh, an, a beta percent of males in this harem randomly. And this uh, creates new offsprings. Uh, at last but not least, uh, the stacks on the on other uh, males, as we have them here, as we have them in the fighting process which are young uh, red deers, young male red deers, and they want to uh, try to find uh, more hinds. They uh, would be made with the uh, closest hind around, around uh, them. Uh, it means that we calculate the distance between the, each stag and the hinds around them. And uh, then, we uh, assign and uh, the we the, the mating would be done. Uh, 
in the selection of next duration, uh, uh, in the selection of uh, next duration, we have uh, selected the male adders as the best solutions, and the hinds would be selected uh, randomly or using a uh, roulette wheel selection uh, or fitness tournament as uh, evolutionary mechanism, mechanisms to uh, create a, a set of new solution. And these steps from roaring would be repeated uh, uh, till the termination uh, is done. Like uh, other metallic algorithms, uh, red deer algorithms also have uh, the intensification and diversification phases. Uh, in uh, roaring fan fighting, uh, we generally try to do local searches and try to improve uh, these uh, local solutions uh, using fighting and uh, using uh, create different harems, uh, we have this chance to uh, select new potential areas, for example, your bed or your uh, table, in your room, in your bedroom. And uh, we then uh, try to find uh, new solutions using mating and alpha percent of males, alpha percent of females randomly, beta percent of females in all hair randomly, and using uh, this uh, mating process as a like crossover, we generate one offspring, and uh, um, these uh, steps are created. And in the in the escape of uh, Second, the next durations, we have we give this chance to the algorithm to escape from local optimal solutions because we will uh, give a chance to bad solutions to uh, uh, escape from local optimal solution. Therefore, this algorithm uh, does uh, both intensification and diversification phases very uh, smartly and intelligently. Uh, this is the uh, Pseudo code of uh, Red Deer algorithm. And uh, um, in, uh, I also uh, will talk about the uh, other examples in the paper and also we'll talk about the uh, an example, assume that we have a, a binary uh, optimization problems uh, and these are the, this is our the chromosomes and we have these are the arrays and this is the fitness function, this is the objective value. With regard to the objective value, uh, we divided the, uh, the initial solutions uh, to as uh, main red deers and hinds, and then after uh, roaring, uh, fighting, we divided the main to commander and stacks, and we uh, will do uh, the we will do uh, create a harem for the commander and generate the offsprings and. Uh, the next generation will be selected using the best solutions as uh, uh, males and all solutions would be selected randomly or using uh, the tournament selection or red bit selection. Uh, uh, I also want to back to the, the paper. In the paper, uh, we uh, have done many tests uh, using benchmark functions, uh, which are the non-constraint optimization problems. We have only one objective. Uh, I also tried to apply, uh, it's, it is the 
uh, the, you can see the results for radio algorithms and uh, in comparison this many other materials algorithms uh, and uh, if we, ha we have done many tests and you can see in all tests uh, red RDA Red Zero Algorithm has a very uh, intelligent and a very uh, high performance in comparison with other algorithms. Uh, is also the statistical tests uh, to show the accuracy and the robustness of algorithms in comparison with uh, other methods in each uh, test function. Uh, and uh, we also have applied. Uh, we also applied the RDA for real-world uh, engineering optimization problems, such as Traubing segments problem. In Traubing segments, we uh, need uh, to have uh, an encoding scheme. When we have constraints, we need to uh, define an encoding scheme. It means that how. Uh, uh, the continuous uh, variables, the continuous variables in the search phases of algorithm would be transformed to the feasible solution, which can be the root, the root of uh, the traveling salesman problem uh, to find an optimal solution. We also, it's also the same as the single matching problem uh we uh in this paper we also have tried to compare uh, this algorithm on many uh combinator optimization problems which are constraints such as fixed source or impostation problem which is have uh, both location and location decisions and uh, decision are available uh using these charts uh, also, uh, in the field of multi-objective version of uh, Red Deer algorithm, we have uh, a different uh, reformulation of the algorithm because we need uh, to uh, define the non-dominant solutions. After each generation, we need to define non-dominant solutions and uh, non-dominant solutions would be updated regarding the roaring, mating, and fighting process. And uh, we can see uh, it should be noted in the case of uh, multi-objective optimization, we have uh, different measurements, different uh, opt prior to optimization metrics to analyze the performance of a solution such as a num number of uh, parity solution mean ideal solution uh, and spread of non-dominant solutions uh, as you can see their uh, formulations are to the maximum spread and many other uh, uh, evaluation metrics such as hyper volume and uh, that is as we can apply it. Also, we have uh, in a bioobjective optimization problem, we also test the multi objective of uh, Red Deer algorithm for uh, solving uh, the optimization uh, problem. Uh, it should be noted. Uh, the quotes of the, this uh, paper is uh, available in the research gate. As you can see, uh, let me show you. And uh, also the my presentation is also available. And this, the paper of Red Deer and also uh let me uh, show you the links of data for codes as you can see for uh multi objective and uh single objective and uh, the codes available uh i first of all i uh, will uh download the
the single objective uh, code and try to test it here. Uh, we also have uh, tried uh, multi-objective codes. Uh, this is also available in the uh, research gate. So uh, let me talk about uh, the algorithm in the using MATLAB. Uh, uh, as you can see, uh, we first, uh, like our algorithms, uh, we define the uh, cast function. It should be noted, it is uh, defined for the sphere. It is a non-constraint optimization problem. Uh, the number of variables, uh, the number of iteration, the number of population of uh, initial solution, number of um, mailer years, and uh, uh, number of hinds. So for each uh, solution, for each iteration, the initial uh, solutions are uh, created. And then we have the roaring faces, and uh, we have the fighting faces, and we have the uh, form the harems, and also the breeding season, which is a mating process in uh, in each harem and in out of his harem. Uh, and also the mating of uh, stacks uh, with uh, the nearest hind. And also select the next generation, which is uh, using the best solutions uh, and uh, the or solution would be selected using roulette wheel selection. Uh, so uh, let me uh, run this code. Uh, as you can see, it's works and it's completely uh, solved this complex optimization problem. <clears throat> uh, it's also very uh, 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 powerful or than 100,000 uh, iterations. It found a very good optimal solution. Uh, we also uh, test uh, the multi objective uh, version of uh, RDA. I think it would be different. Uh, 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 all the parts are the same except the uh, dominant set ranking and uh, calculating crawling distance to generate uh, the Pareto solutions. All the parts of the algorithms have are the same except the next generation, which want to find. Uh, and calculate the efficiency of uh, Pareto solutions based on the uh, number of MPS, number of uh, amount of CPU time, MID, SNS, and MS, as I uh, told you, in the, and as I defined this matrix in my paper. Let me round uh, this code. As you can see in each iteration, the algorithm tries to find the optimal solution, finds uh, the efficient generation. Uh, after 10 iteration, uh, for example, uh, the algorithms find the solutions, a uh, number of uh, non-dominated solutions, 
the amount of CPU time, amount of mean ideal solution, SNS and MS uh, are uh, available. So I hope uh, you find uh, this metaheuristic very useful. And I highly recommend you uh, to use uh, these codes uh, and also uh, uh, the files of the algorithm, the files, the files of the paper, which are available in my research gate paper, research gate uh, profile. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, do not hesitate to contact me uh, by my email and uh, hope uh, you find it interesting. Also, it should be noted, uh, you can also uh, see uh, the other papers which are cited uh, or which have, which have used this algorithm uh, in their papers. Uh, it, it is applied to many industrial and uh, engineering optimization problems. And I encourage you to read other relevant uh, papers uh, to uh, which have used the uh, Red Deer algorithm. Uh, it can be improved using other heuristic search. And uh, I highly recommend you to, um, to uh, use this uh, intelligent and smart and very uh, easy to use uh metaheuristic algorithm uh have a nice day and uh, do not forget to contact me uh, by email uh let me i uh, stop sharing and uh bye bye